Are you sick and tired of the environmentalist taking things way too far? The latest legislation brought up by the Biden administration may just turn you into a curved build thrasher. setting a pretty ambitious target of 50% of electric vehicles to be sold in the United States by the year 2030. Oh my God. He wants it to be 50% EV vehicles by the year 2030. Now I have a few issues with that. The only reason, I don't, okay, let me start out by saying I am not a hater of electric vehicles. I'm not at all. The new Teslas and some of that stuff are pretty amazing. Lucid makes some crazy vehicles. There's going to be a, a cool market for electric vehicles. Do not get me wrong. Now, forcing people into electric vehicles will not work. Just saying. Uh, something about the roar of a motor that has a passion that fuels inside you and shakes you as a man. And I just can't imagine taking my kid out in the garage and shining the Tesla because you can't work on it. You know, not going to teach wrench sizes. Here's the USB port. No, no, that doesn't work. So let me go ahead and pull this up and get some more information on it. I know this is a little bit different than my standard videos. Uh, Biden pushes for electric vehicles to make up half the U.S. auto sales by 2030. Uh, there's something else thrown in here, too, a key point as they, they uh, call out. Biden administration also expected to announce proposed vehicle fuel economy standards through the 2026 model year Thursday, built on California's tougher regulations. So treat the whole world as a big city is, is what I'm taking from this. And don't get me wrong, I have been to California and I've flown in and seen the smog, and I don't know how much of that is from vehicles or how much of that is from bum flatulence, but yes, there is an issue in places like California. So let me go ahead and let's go over to YouTube. I want to find out my first concern, which is the U.S. power grid. So I've already typed it up here and here in a Google search or a YouTube search, U.S. power grid. All right, let's see what pops up. Uh, first of all, how secure is the United States power grid? Hmm, okay. Uh, how does a power grid work? The coming U.S. grid collapse, what you should know. Uh, how can we build a 100% clean grid? Well, we're not there yet. Texas power disaster is a warning sign for the U.S. The U.S. power grid collapse, how to prepare. Okay, I think we kind of have the cart before the horse with trying to push for all these electric vehicles. I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I am saying... Put your money into the electrical grid before you go trying to build all these cars that need to be charged when they have mandates in California that you can't run your air conditioning during the heat of summer or their entire electric grid starts on fire. Don't believe me, look it up. That's a true statement. So just saying, I wanted to put a couple of little, my little two cents in here about this whole thing. I think they need to reevaluate what they're doing and look at infrastructure before they go pushing for it. Now me, just stay the hell away from my uh, internal combustion engine, at least until I pass away, which it's going to take a while unless they keep trying to force feed us this thing for internal combustion engines to go away. So I don't see that being the, the end all be all for this, but I just wanted to give my two cents on this. Please leave me a comment down below. I know this touches the heart of a lot of different people. I have friends and family who are EV fans. I have, you know, every type of walk of life in my life. So I would love to hear your comments on this. Let's get the conversation started. But my two cents is start with that grid first before you go messing with anything else. Check you guys later.